I'm back at the gym doing some squats. I've been going back to the gym for about four months now and I'm really enjoying it. I used to train quite a bit in the gym previously and yeah, it's good to see the results, toning everything up and it's just really fun. Like I really enjoy the gym. It makes me feel good. I like the environment. I like the fact that everyone's positive there, working out, just training together. There are like a fair bit of steroid use going on, a few steroid rages, um, but I just do my own thing and I'm just doing some lunges there, some shoulder press lunges. This is a really good exercise. It's like working your whole body, just builds a nice strong body and also some chest press to finish off. Okay, so this is a very simple smoothie. This is just dates and water and most importantly, peppermint drops okay these are really important i just don't actually put one or one and a half in you don't want to put too much in just overpowers the whole smoothie and it is great it's beautiful let's get it going okay look how like creamy this looks very milkshake-ish without the pus of course wow yum yum let me take some off the top Mm. Oh, that's amazing. The silence calls to me from the treetops of this world. A balance, feeling free. I'm a part of this place of birth. And I know it cannot last, but at last I can finally breathe. Wow, look at these dates. This is like a specialty variety box. These are medjool dates. Some of them are a bit a bit dry, but they're pretty good, good inside. And these like honey dates. And we're gonna have a date banana smoothie. Okay, let's take a look what's in my fridge. It's not really that exciting, but we got some stevia drops. These are just for flavoring, okay? Not for like sweetening up anything. They're just for flavoring smoothies. Um, got some jam. This is barbecue sauce um, left over from some, when some people stayed at my place. This is also some mustard left over from then. And um, tomato sauce, organic. And this is barbecue sauce. And it's a bit vinegary, actually. I'm not really a fan of this. Um, strawberry jam, cocoa, uh, not soy sauce. This is B12. B12, you just spray it under your tongue, or spray it on your tongue. Oh. Sugar cane. Oh yeah, gotta get into that. Maple syrup. A bit of almond breeze. Prune juice. God, I think that's been in there for like a year. Um, cordial, handmade cordial. Homemade. <laughs> handmade. Uh, mango chili sauce. Coconut water. God, that's been there for a while too. <laughs> All right, jam. We got some jam and tahini from when someone stayed here. I don't actually eat it, but someone might. Um, pasta sauce. And in the back, in the back, we have salsa de chipotle. I don't think I bought that either. Um, lentils. These are lentils. Looks like poo, but it's lentils. Uh, we got like greens. We got organic baby, oh! baby spinach. Um, this is like an immune system, you know, if I ever want, if I feel like I'm a bit low in immunity for some reason, for stress or something, I'll take, oh, take that. It's like olive leaf extract and stuff. This is like, um, refried beans, I think, but not fried. <laughs> I don't know about it. Um, bananas, heaps of ripe bananas. I just don't want them to go turn too quickly. Lots of spinach, spinach, and a juice, apple juice, organic apple. More juices. This is mango and banana. Really nice. So we got jackfruit in there and greens and that's it in the fridge. The fridge is done. In the freezer we have vegetables, organic mixed berries, organic mixed berries, sugar cane. Yes, look, look banana babes, sugar cane, some more frozen fruit and a pizza base. And that's it. Bam. So Mama Duck's cooking some, cooked some curry. Yeah. Curry? Curry. Yeah. Curry. This looks good, Mom. No worry, curry. No worry, curry. Yummy. Nope. This is my um, under eating serve. I'm such an under eater. Look at this. 
This is full on. But it's a measure of the bond between Ricky and his wife. It is delicious. It's not good for me. This is a uh, Filipino style lumpia. Wow. And this is. I think we found the reason oh, he's so big. He's missing the vegetables. No vegetables, no fruit, no rice. And this is the type of food that I battle with every day. This is like how a drug addict needs his drugs to better. It's just almost the same type of thing. Okay, so inspiration station, we're gonna go to the date, which is today, the 22nd. Check it out. What's today's lesson? What's today's inspiration, I should say? Um, okay, the distance from nothing to a little is 10,000 times more than from a little to the highest degree in this life. All the think big talk we hear from motivational speakers may actually be deflating when we consider how far we have to go. Big indeed we may utter to ourselves as we try to muster the courage to take even one baby step in a chosen new direction. But there's nothing contradictory about thinking big and starting small. The small realistic start as a matter and starting small, as a matter of fact, is the best indicator that real progress is in the works. The successes that undergird self-esteem don't come all at once. Real progress is always achieved inch by inch, decision by decision, baby step by baby step, but oh how important are those first few inches that take us from nowhere to somewhere. It well may be that right now we don't have the strength to over overthrow some hate hated cycle of dependency. But the bottom line isn't what's happening right now. If we are making the small decisions and taking the small steps, we will have the strength to make our move when the time comes. It all adds up. True progress takes time and patience. That is so true. Very, very true. And, you know, I realized that with my YouTube channel as well. Like early on, not much was happening, hardly getting any views, hardly reaching anybody, definitely not making any money. And, you know, over time, it all started to happen because I kept putting those little steps in every day and kept working on it and focusing on what I wanted. And, you know, I wanted success. I wanted to reach as many people as possible with the vegan message. And at the same time, I'm having a lot of fun as well, <laughs> having a lot of fun. And, you know, when you're in that positive mindset, you're just attracting so much abundance. You're living on purpose. So don't give up, make small steps towards your goals, towards your dreams. You know, don't think, oh no, you know, like I failed, like I didn't get it by this date. I didn't get my dream by this date, blah, blah, blah. No, you just got to keep going. Suck it up and keep going. All right, that is my little vlog for today. Love you guys. Leave any messages down below. Help me get to 2,000 comments each video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you want more vlogs like this. And I will see you soon.